today I'm going to be demonstrating the proper way to lift and maneuver heavy equipment. Um, oftentimes it's necessary to move large components that are parts of shipping stands and uh, large engine lift fixtures. Um, and because these components are so heavy, you need um, to use some kind of assist. Um, it could be a forklift, it could be a crane, it could be multiple things. Um, but today we're going to be using a forklift boom to manipulate shock mount piers on a Gen X rollover stand. I want to talk about some special cautions that should be used when maneuvering these parts. Um, always remember to use the proper uh, protection equipment for the personnel. Um, follow all regional uh, facility requirements in terms of safety. Um, and just use an abundance of caution. Make sure you have clear communication signals between all the operators. Make sure all the parts are well maintained, well lubricated. Uh, there's no signs of damage or rust. Um, and just uh, keep in mind that, um, you know, caution is, is very important. In order to deploy the shock mounts or casters, it's necessary that the stand be above the ground. Um, today, I'm going to be lifting the stand with a forklift to get it above the ground. Uh, then we're going to be placing the stand on some dedicated spacer blocks, which will act as a solid surface for us to work on the stand. Notice that there are dedicated locations for these spacer blocks. That's to ensure that the pallet doesn't get damaged when you put the weight of the stand on the ground. So I'm just gonna position it under these locations, keeping my hands clear at all times from the suspended load. So I'm gonna use the handle just to get it roughly positioned. I'm gonna do that to all four and then we'll lower it down evenly. Now that the stand is positioned above the ground and it's resting on the solid uh, blocks, we're going to get some straps and a forklift boom and move the shock mount piers into the position. We noticed the fit into the clevis for the shock mount is a little bit snug. Uh, it could just be a little bit of dirt or debris or rust. I'm going to squirt a little bit of oil in there just to lubricate it and make things slide easier. Always remember to install the safety pins for retention. I'm gonna demonstrate how to deploy a, a different type of shock mount. This shock mount folds down 
In order to fold it down, I need to first remove some retention pins. During this procedure, it's important to keep yourself away from all moving parts. Um, whether it's something lifted or whether it's something translating, just keep yourself away from any moving parts. Um, in order to check for alignment, just use visual uh, alignment signals and, um, and wait until the pin can be easily installed. Something else I wanted to note about um, these large components, sometimes, um, like I showed before, you may need to oil the component a little bit to get it to slide easily. Um, it might also be necessary to tap it with a rubber mallet. You could tap the pin with a rubber mallet. You could oil the pins. Um, you may also have to uh, wiggle it around a little bit to get everything to align just the way you want. But you shouldn't have to use a forklift or some um, mechanical system to force it into position. If, if it doesn't slide into position relatively easy, then check and make sure that nothing is damaged or in need of repair. Throughout this process, I'm gonna have the forklift driver lift the shock mount pier and rotate it down into position. It won't be exactly in position, but I just wanna get it roughly positioned so that we can disconnect the straps and then from there we can maneuver it by hand. Good, yeah. Good. Sometimes I find it's easier to get the component roughly in position with the forklift or crane. Um, and then once it's close, then you have a second mechanic come and lift, if it needs lifted a little bit or wiggled a little bit, um, they can do that while the first mechanic installs the pin. And remember to use visual alignment to check that the holes are aligned. Sometimes it's helpful to get down low make sure you have a clear line of sight between the holes. You can also use the pin to check for the alignment. I hope this was some helpful information, just some reminders to um, keep in mind whenever you're manipulating heavy equipment. Um, remember to always be familiar with what you're doing, have clear communication signals. Um, if you ever don't feel comfortable or confident in what you're doing, just stop and seek proper guidance. Stay safe.